Well, I was starting to work on this carburetor when my neighbor pulled up. He had uh, two flat screens, computer monitors, and uh, two sets of keyboards, and a computer. Fairly newish looking computer in here. And uh, he rents houses, and somebody moved off and left all this stuff. And I figured, well, before it goes to dump, give it a try. If it's good, I know uh, Honey Baby's daughter. She's always trying to, uh, you know, keep up to date on computers and doesn't really have the money to go out and buy one. So I figured that nothing to lose. I'll plug it all in, see if it lights up. And if it does, I'll give it to her. There you go. We'll see what happens. And, you know, I figure even if it don't work, a lot of times you can take these cases and build something out of them. So I think it's probably pretty filthy. I see a lot of crap in here. But, eh, yeah. Plug her in, see what happens, I guess. Well, I went upstairs and grabbed the cord and the mouse and uh, plugged her in and she's coming up. Looks like she's a Windows XP. Uh, the monitor's working. The computer's working. I'll give her a few minutes to come to life. It says it's a uh, 3000 AMD Simpron processor, 256 megabytes, which makes me think old, and 80 gigabytes. Which isn't that old. It says 256 megabytes of memory and 80 gigabyte hard drive. And, you know, it's got all these ports on it, which most of the older computers didn't have these types of ports, and they didn't have very many of them. And plus, it's a Windows XP. Uh oh. Asking for a password. Well, we don't have a password. So that might be a problem. But other than that. Might, might be a workable computer. I wonder if there's a way to work around the password. I wonder if you can bring it up and hit uh, whatever you hit. Sometimes you can hit F11, Control F11, and redo it. So anyway, man. Hmm. Might be, might be usable. I don't know. Okay, I ran this thing through a couple of times. I finally found uh, PC recovery. I'm hoping that recovery will erase whatever is in the memory of this thing, including the password, so that I can get in here and uh, and uh, operate the dang thing. Uh, and if it does, huh, it, you know, it comes up pretty quick. Doesn't seem like a too bad of a little computer. Might be something that the kids can have some fun with. Who knows? Uh, yeah, who knows? Cannot load bitmap. Okay. No bitmap, whatever that means. Monitor going to sleep. Compact. See what happens. Not too much to lose here. You know, if I wasn't busy doing all the things that I do with cars and building things and all this other stuff, I'm probably messing around with computers, because uh, that could be a whole fun world to get into, too. But I uh, probably don't need to get too distracted. I still got a carburetor to put back together over there. So. But I figured it'd be fun to plug this in, just see if I could get it to work. Let's see what happens. Yeah. What's my password? Well, that's a problem. Okay, if anybody knows... Uh, how to get around the password on a compact computer Windows XP tell me so so I can get around the password on this thing and then turn it into a usable item there's probably some way to do that okay okay